On today's episode of Dirt Race Life, we've got our new bumper and nose cap in from Dominator. We're going to mount them on our crate racing street stock. Y'all stick around. house blocks these are eight inches high set them down on the floor again got my car sitting at ride height it is over to the passenger side I am mounting this level that is on purpose I'm gonna have some slant in this nose on purpose all right so I got my nose sitting level on my concrete blocks that's gonna set this nose like if I had it right here it would be at six inches on the bottom so that's that's pretty low okay the rules in crate racing will allow me to go all the way down to five inches. I can tell you from experience um, with a car like this right here, at five inches, I will just fold all that up underneath the car. You don't have that clearance um, when you're running up against a cushion on the high side or if the track's a little choppy and rough, you'll just tear it all off at five inches. Realistically, six to seven inches is where my real minimum is. Um, so anyway, so we're going to set it like this. I've got this one already to that line, got a magnet on it, it's ready to go. Do the same thing over here, and set this one, it's the same deal. That sounds good. Yep, so we're fine there. Then I can just turn around and slide these in. It's barely spotted, so I'm going to be careful. And I haven't cut these tubes down either. Plenty of room for it to move around. And what I was talking about it being its lowest, so see, I can, I can raise it up like that so that we can figure out that exact height that we need. All right, so I made some gussets here. You can see this is just one inch oh uh, i think that's 065 one inch 065 right there made a couple gussets out of and like i said they don't have to be in the exact place but i'm gonna put them at an angle they're not straight across they're not up and down they'll work great just like that right there i'm gonna make them work to the horn just like that Let's just go up. This is a three inch block. Let's go up three inches. I speculate that's probably going to be, probably going to need this much. So let's see. Let's see what that looks like. And you'll see. Alright, so now, let's see where we're at now. Get that on there. And so now I've got right where I've got that angle, so I'm gonna have that roll and come straight up, hit that radiator right there. I think that'll be fine. Where does that put me? Down here on the front. You know, and that gets me more at about, so I've got about eight inches, eight to nine inches right here on the front to the ground. That's probably a little bit more realistic. All right, so, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with that. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I got that, I'll make sure it's level. And then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna MIG up. I'll set this thing completely straight up and down. And I'll just uh, MIG that cap up right there around both of these and fix this in place. Well, that's a good start. 
I'm gonna pull the bumper. I got it bolted with the two bolts um, on the plates there. And it's sitting about eight inches from the bottom here to the ground. It's great. Um, I've got it here at the top now where I can put this top deck. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rebuild this front uh, radiator support right here. I got a good idea now of how this is gonna work. I'm gonna put the support in and then I'm probably gonna bolt a piece of aluminum across there that'll be like a support um, that I can put this piece in that goes across here. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is pull this bumper back off and go ahead and finish up the radiator. I didn't wanna put any of this back in until after I kinda saw how this is gonna work. So we got an idea now, let's get that done. So I always use my cheaters like this cause they'll show you exactly where to bend um, like that. And I use a JD squared manual bender really good i bought that thing uh at the beginning of last year whenever i started building this car i've been just super tickled with it go all the way back to the beginning of my street stock build playlist and uh, you can see a lot more detail on that jd squared and how i make my cheaters and how i use them to do the cage and the whole nine yards i won't cover that here but uh i got a lot of information in those first videos on just exactly how all that works um and like i said i just Make these up. I got this in like a 90, a 45, a 22 and a half degree. And then I can figure out, and I've got my marks on them, tells me exactly where to put it in the bender to get my bend exactly where I want it. Works great. We've got our radiator support complete, all welded up. It's good to go. But the next thing I want to do is, is I want to put the stabilizer bar that goes across here to tie all this together. We can tie our front fenders, and we got a piece of aluminum that's gonna go in here that's the filler and stuff. And so we need that piece that goes across here. I am going to cut this to length. Um, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna run it right to this inside lip, and I'm just, just literally putting it up there and getting the measurement. That's all we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put it right there, and go across. Oh, I'm gonna mark her over here and I'm going to cut it off and then we'll look at putting these fixtures to bolt it on because it's going to be removable. It's going to go up underneath this nose right in here. It's going to stretch that nose out. It's going to give me that rise I need to get that flare going. All right, and that's going to get me where the my angle is going to get up over the top of this radiator cap and stuff. And this piece is going to be riveted into my front nose, you know, my filler panel right here. This is all going to be riveted together. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to run a bolt. So I'm going to weld on. Let me show you what this is. So this is a piece of three quarter inch 065 tubing that has a three eighths nut in the end of it. I just make my own, uh, make my own fillers as I need them. So I got to make one more, you'll see. So just take a tube, get it cut good and flat, clean it up, take a nut, put it together a couple spot welds. It's cheap, it's quick, make what I need where I need it. Put these all over the car, however you need them. Anyway, so I've cut this one to length. Oh, it's taut, y'all. All right, so you see I got the aluminum angle on here, got some vice grips on it, got the ends of it smoothed up, cut back just a little bit where it doesn't, doesn't punch a hole through my plastic, nothing like that. I got both of my uprights with a 3 8 nut in them, the bolts in them. They're just sitting up there. I got it even across here. I got my height of it right for the nose to come up and over the top of my radiator. These aren't sitting perfect on these tubes, but they're fine. I'm gonna stick them on right where they're at. All right, I got them welded up solid, bolted up tight. We had throw some paint on those while I was at it. And let's see, what am I doing now? Uh, I got my straight edge here, and I'm under this bracket, but this bracket's gonna come down too. Right now I'm working on my firewall, and so what I was doing is just taking my straight edge, I can't turn it up on its edge because I got that still there, but I don't wanna take all this apart. So this works, it's, it's, it's straight. But uh, got it laying across here, and what I've been doing is, is I drilled, my firewall is in two pieces that I've got pop rooted together in the middle here, and so I've drilled all my pop rivets out and I'm lowering it down and I'm trying 
to get it all the way down to where this is a straight line from a deck here all the way down to the hood where that's a nice smooth line. So I'm going to get the firewall done and get it level and then I'm going to cut my tabs off and re-weld them and just bring all this front down to match it. piece and then I'm going to put um, some inserts uh, to bolt it on on the back here. Took apart my old fender here. Got all my graphics and everything on here. It still looks great. So that's where it used to sit. Yep, that works. Rip that edge off right there. Pop right it that together. And then I'll have my bolts well, actually, that's a hood pin right there and a bolt right there. All of this is on the front cap. Comes off together. Yep, that works. Cut this lip off right here. And I need to fix this. And this curve, I've got too much curve in it. So I'm going to, but that's a, an accordion. I, I crimped that edge right there. So I just, I can pull that out. So yeah, we're there. Correctly, this whole cap is going to pull off. I've already pulled the bolts off where it's bolted to the fenders or bolted to the side panels at the rear. And then there were two bolts through the front. And I put I got to put some nut starts on the inside there. And then I got my two big bolts here. And if we've done it right, I ain't got these pop rings done. I couldn't get my hand to them, so I'm going to take it off and then finish them up. But if we've done this right, Oh, I think we have done it right. The whole front comes off in one piece. Hey! Just like that right there. And it sits, and it sits up. Oh, that's gonna make maintenance easy. And the question's gonna be, is if we get in a wreck, is it gonna make it a lot harder to repair? I don't know. We'll just as we go through this racing season, I'll tell you. But uh but yeah, it comes off easy. So it makes for maintenance easy. See, anyway, yeah, I gotta paint this up. I gotta put a nut cert in right there and right there where I don't have to reach in behind it. Um, I got a couple nut certs I gotta put in on my fenders here so that I can just run the little bolts down. And I'm just gonna throw some paint on this just so it don't rust. I am not gonna put anything else, just this. And I kinda, you know, I. I went back and forth on this, like, do I want to have a bar across here to protect the front? And, you know, here's where I'm at with it. If I put a tube across here, then if I get into somebody, that's going to be where that the front nose, like, folds in, and then it's got something to catch against to get ripped. 
um, you know, versus, you know, they'll come all the way up um, to my actual radiator protector right here, and then I got a piece of aluminum right here. So they're going to bend my aluminum up. I'm not saying it won't. It's going to bend my aluminum all up, but it may not damage any of the, the uh, plastic. And so I can just cut a new piece of aluminum, put it back on there, beat that one out, good to go. You know, and then by not adding any extra tubing or anything like this, as far as like racing and going to big shows and like needing to be ready for a date no matter what, um, there is a simplicity in like me being able to, this thing is exactly the way Dominator sent it to me. So if I do bend this up, I've got these plates and everything on it. I haven't modified anything. So I can just pick up the phone. I can say, hey, send me one. You know, as close as they are, I get it like two days later, it shows up. And then I can just slap it on there, bolt it up. And I know my nose is going to fit perfect. Like everything's going to fit perfect on there. So hopefully if you're doing one of these like Camaro noses or something with the fenders and, you know, trying to figure out like how you're going to do the bumper and how you're going to get it on there. Hey, I'm not saying to do it like this or whatever, but maybe it'll help give you some ideas on how you want to do yours or, you know, something similar to mine, a few things different or whatever, but I hope it helps. If it does, smash that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, and hey, if you're not subscribed, folks, subscribe. I got some great videos on building street stocks and racing them out of your garage. Thank you. See you next time.